to After Dark Creations Art Review. I'm Jen, your artist and fangirl, here to share my love of cult films, television, music, and books with you. This week, I'll be reviewing the Goosebumps book series. My introduction to the world of Goosebumps was with the 11th book in the series titled The Haunted Mask. These books sparked my love of reading and I voraciously consumed the original series in elementary school. Written by R.L. Stein and published by Scholastic, the series consisted of over 235 books and is in publication today in a spin-off series titled Goosebumps Most Wanted. Goosebumps was published in 1992 and consisted of 62 books running until 1997. It is the second best-selling book series in history with over 400 million copies sold worldwide. Due to their overwhelming popularity, the original series has several spin-offs including Tales to Give You Goosebumps, Give Yourself Goosebumps, and Goosebumps 2000. There are also several anthologies in the collection, such as Triple Header, Horrorland, and Slappy World. Each book focused on a child protagonist as they encountered various ghosts, ghouls, monsters, and generally creepy adults. Rather than including a moral to each story in the book, Stein focused on themes of empowered children utilizing their creativity and critical thinking skills to defeat different monstrous foes. The books spawn numerous toys, and related merchandise, comic books, video games, TV shows, and movies. The TV show premiered in 1995 and ran for four seasons. There are six Goosebumps video games, the first of which was released for PC in 1996. Two feature films with theatrical releases came out in 2015 and 2018. Goosebumps was a darkly entertaining series for children that wasn't too scary. It was a major influence on my childhood. I wasn't into the Babysitter's Club or Teen Beat magazine. I was way more interested in reading Fangoria, Famous Monsters, and reading horror comics. So these books were perfect for a kid like me who wanted a little bit of Halloween in the everyday. Now, let's get into how the books inform the art. I chose to depict the book that introduced me to the world of Goosebumps, and that was The Haunted Mask. Although there is a television episode of Goosebumps that depicts The Haunted Mask, and the mask actually looks pretty scary on the show, I chose to go with the image that looked like the cover art. I drew inspiration from the work of Tim Jacobus. He painted 60 of the 62 books in the first series. I always loved the cover designs. They beautifully illustrated the content of each story and was scary without being too scary. They were brightly colored and enticing and the content was just spooky enough so parents wouldn't wholeheartedly object to their children reading something that could possibly give them nightmares. As for coloring, I chose to match the colors from the book cover as much as I could. I had an absolute blast making this piece. So tell me in the comment section below, what is your favorite Goosebumps story? And let me know if you ever played the video game. I never got a chance to and I'm kind of curious about how they work. And were you a 90s kid? Did you have all the Goosebumps books like I did? I collected all of the first series. I absolutely love those books. I was part of this scholastic book club called the Thrills and Chills Club where it was a monthly subscription subscription and you got these cool little magazine full of like spooky information and it came with a bunch of different horror related books and usually Goosebumps was a part of that monthly series. As always, thank you for watching. I'm Jen and let's keep it spooky friends.